Welcome to Fridays at the Front. I'm Will. This is a collaboration between the Shenandoah Valley Battlefield Foundation and Civil War Digital Digest. We want to bring great stories from the Shenandoah Valley to you and encourage you to come here and see it for yourself. Today, I'm in Strasburg, Virginia, at the up on Hupps Hill. Now, on October 13th, 1864, a few Confederate officers were up here, and they were looking down across Cedar Creek to the division camp of Don Burden's Federal Infantry. They decided to bring some artillery up here and start to bombard. Well, for Federal soldiers in their camps, cooking a meal is quite a surprise. And General Crook orders two brigades, one under Thomas Harrison and the other under George Wells, to go deal with what he thinks is a diversion. The two brigades move off together and are soon separated by a thick wood. Harris on the right runs into John Gordon's Confederate infantry and realizes he's bitten off more than he can chew. He sends a messenger to Wells that he's going to pull back and retreats. Wells never gets the message. As a matter of fact, he's moving through thick underbrush when he runs into James Connor's Confederate infantry. He quickly moves across the land to a stone wall and tries to repel the Confederate counterassault. He's not successful. His flanks are both soon turned by a vastly superior Confederate force, and he's driven back. In the fighting, Wells is shot in the chest and dies mortally wounded as he's being pulled off the field. This is a little setback for the Federal Army, but it's called a right smart fight. Six days later, the Battle of Cedar Creek happens, and the Union Army continues to push the Confederacy out of the valley in the fall of 1864. Here's a chance to see a small part of it. Here's a chance to find out where one officer didn't get a message and it ended up costing him his life. Come see it for yourself. We'll see you next time.